The time to create inexpensive and efficient renewable energy is now. Both gas prices and global temperatures are continuing to rise. And if we want to combat these issues, we need to look for alternative fuel sources like ethanol, which can be produced by plants such as corn. Turning plants into biofuels is not a simple process. But today I'm here to tell you that one of the keys to this problem can actually be found in hot springs across the globe. And it's all thanks to something a million times smaller than a person, bacteria. Now for bacteria to generate energy from plants, they ideally have to do two things. One, deconstruct plants, and two, actually produce the biofuel. Now there are already microbes that are well known for their abilities to convert basic sugars into useful chemicals, like the fermentation by yeast to produce beer. The hard part is deconstruction, the breakdown of the plants into those basic sugars needed for chemical production. Truth be told, this is an unfair fight. Plants have had years of evolution to build complex structures that are naturally resistant to degradation. In order to use non-food-based plants like grasses or trees, expensive chemical and thermal pretreatments are required to free the sugars from the plant's structural cage. But not anymore. My project's final goal is to engineer the perfect organism to break apart plants. And my research has led me to bacteria from hot springs that are naturally talented at doing just that. Their affinity for higher temperatures lends them perfectly to chemical production, as it can improve chemical recovery and overall breakdown of the plant matter. But before I can optimize these bacteria into plant-eating machines, I first have to understand them. As a start, I've tested several species on different woods and grasses to identify the best biofuels candidates. I've also identified key genes within the bacteria necessary for plant deconstruction, and by modifying them, we can improve the bacteria's ability to degrade plants. It's also important to understand how the microbes adhere to surfaces. You can imagine that in hot springs like those in Yellowstone, the bacteria only see plants when leaves and such just happen to fall into the pool. To take advantage of these opportune food sources, the bacteria have unique binding proteins that allow them to specifically attach to plants. Under a microscope, you can actually see the cells, here shown in orange, clearly binding to the green plant fibers. By manipulating these binding proteins, we can tailor fit the bacteria to target a given plant species. Overall, my work into these interesting microbes has now given us a toolbox of genes and species that we can combine to create the ideal sugar producer and fill in that last piece of the biofuels puzzle. Thank you.